Um, so this is day three. Uh, we're in here at Texas Freestone, and um, we're gonna go look at the track. <laughs> Yeah, we're out here at Freestone, Texas, in the announcer booth watching some motos. Track looks pretty good, um, a little bit muddy, um, got some big ruts, but I'm pretty big on the bike. Um, on the 65s, I should be able to get through those pretty easy and go get a moto in. Yesterday, the wind was pretty bad. Today, the wind looks all right, but I just got to deal with it. Got, got to work a lot, so it's just a bit of wind travel. No way, dude. Said my buddy uh, Joey Pratt. I used to race with when uh, I was Hayden's age. Uh, owns a bunch of Dairy Queens in Dallas. So he said if Hayden wins, he can have uh, free Dairy Queen on the way back up there. But if he doesn't, then he's cash to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Mods here. I'm doing this because I'm a boss. You don't have the bedazzle, you don't get the razzle. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, I'm so hot! Got you, bro. Oh, this doesn't even work. <laughs> oh, you idiot. You broke oh, it. I broke it. Oh, oh. Is it? She got it. No, no, no. Wait, what is it? 10 to 11? Going out, but I'm Yeah. No, I, I think I like well, 10 to 11. 10 to 11. Like, Say you're Evan Woody. And what, what class are you racing? 10 to 11. Mom. The same class as me. Are you going to put a whooping on Danger Boy? Probably not. Are there bridge stones? Are you serious, son? I don't know what I want. stone? I'm not the one that does it. <laughs> Freestone, uh, it's cool. Been coming here many years with Hayden ever since he raced Peewees. Here, uh, racing uh, 65, 85 class. Feels like it's gonna rain, so I don't know. Feels like any minute it could start raining. Uh, but it's nice, you know, perfect weather for the track. Track staying wet, good. Uh, just windy, you know. There's a couple big jumps, but Hayden's pretty good with riding in the wind due to California. California windy, dry, dusty, rough. So I think the California kids seem to excel in the tough conditions. Uh, somehow, I don't know how he's a good mud rider too. <laughs> but uh, in the end, uh, we should see. Uh, he's gonna go out have fun in the 65 moto. And then uh, he's got uh, another 85 and a 65. And then I think we'll probably be uh, trying to find a flight and get home. Just having fun, just amateur motocross, so not, not, not too much uh, too much going down until they really turn pro, you know? So he's already with KTM, so it's kind of where he needs to be. Just learning at this point, it's just a uh, learning curve, you know? So we'll see, see what happens. I can't believe you all shot at the last moto. He's like 95 pounds on a 65. He just went, yeah. It was like perfect start. Uh, I'll see if he can do it again. If not, he just got to take his time, be smart, work through the pack, don't do anything stupid. There's a lot of little kids out there, you know. They don't, they, they swerve. I don't like Hudson, you know. He'll go everywhere. You end up landing on them, and it's dangerous. So. The wind's picking up, though. It's getting pretty gnarly. We'll see.
a new level of balls. Are you pumped up? Are you excited? Yeah, I hope I can get the whole shot and then go get it. Isn't the mechanic supposed to be with the rider? Usually. Yeah, I got yelled at yesterday because the AMA official won't let me be over there. But it is what it is. I'll stand over here.
good though. I was like doing as snarly as I could. You had the fastest lap time out. What was it? 218. Other times it backed You went off a berm? So, yeah, did you see me? I hit the berm as hard as I could. Yeah. I was going to pass that Janikin. Yeah, you got around him over that step up around the outside, and then uh, you picked close all around the. Uh, I know, I was right, I was in front of him, like yeah. that. And then I just, I went into the bridge, and I hooked, and then I went all the Hayden's doing good. Hayden's on the gas, he had a little bad luck earlier in the day, but you know what, he's a soldier, he's a champion, he'll come back swinging. The racing is in those vegan blood, whether they're racing cars, bikes, trucks, doing stunts, wearing Superman capes, whatever they do, they're winners. Boom. You know why? Because I'm Wes Kane and you're not. Thank you so much. You got this bird out right here. Come on over here. Yeah. Just like that. Hold that up. You know, it's just so crowded. He saw him at Loretta's and Winter Amps and been trying to catch him all that time. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, he loved. Love. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Well, what do you all say? Yeah. Are you happy? There's like a cemetery up here. Pretty gnarly when you just bury your family out in the yard. It's 1909 to 1971. They're all Miller. That's really crazy having your own cemetery, you know? But any other place you go, oh, here's the water truck guy. Crazy, you know, you think about, I grew up in this sport, and you think about, like, you look around, you're like, ah, oh, you know, is everyone spending this money? Is that? And then you go to the car races, <laughs> makes this look like, like, uh, Mickey Mouse race, <laughs> you know? It's like, you, everyone takes it so serious here, but, you know, you go to the car track, you'll see, like, big money being spent on, on racing, you know? Why is there so much money in NASCAR? versus something like this. Do you think motocross just hasn't reached its peak yet, or? The reason why NASCAR has so much money is it's uh, manufacturer money. You have Ford, Chevy, Toyota, big companies. Here, you have Kawasaki, Yamaha, uh, Suzuki, KTM, companies that do okay, but fraction of what the car manufacturers sell here. So, it's just relative to the money that's in the industry and this this industry small you know i grew up thinking oh it's the biggest thing in the world moto is this biggest sport but really it's not you know this sport's always going to be what it is only a few will ever make a ton of money at it you got to kind of just do it because you love it you know it's uh for the love of the sport and uh but Car racing is definitely uh, where the money is. <laughs> so I don't know. Hayden's hooked on this sport, so kind of, I don't know. Maybe too late, but it would be cool. What's up? Maybe it'd be cool to get him into some cars later and Hudson into some cars. So we'll see. We'll see. You know, the future here, you know, maybe go to Anaheim, race Supercross. I'd like to see Hayden win a Supercross championship in the lights class. It'd be cool to see him win a Supercross championship, build, keep building the brand, that you know, this Danger Boy brand and uh, the Deegan 38 brand, and then uh, move into car racing. There's no bigger media. For some reason, people love moto and media and social media. It, it brings a cool factor uh, that car racing doesn't. So FF1, yeah, that's a different thing that brings a lot of cool factor and social but I mean this is a great place to build a brand and then bring it to car racing I think we have a good team with Haley Hayden and Hudson I think we have all the bases covered so I think we're good I think we're gonna build something that no one else has built before
but it's uh, just taking time. <laughs> it's gonna come to fruition soon. I give it a few years, but man, need to get needs to happen soon. <laughs> <laughs>